wanted to create a meeting place for people, uh, friends and family, to get together and share a meal together. Um, I picked the name Tia Luchos for the restaurant uh, to honor my dad. I just have very fond memories of him, you know, inviting folks over to the house, uh, friends and family, and he was always in the kitchen just cooking and we'd all gather around the kitchen, you know, no one went to the dining room, right? Everybody was just there, you know, just having a good time. We decided to open on June 28th of last year and um, unexpectedly he, he, he passed away. I had to leave for a week to go bury my dad in Peru and while I was away uh, I was still working and so it was it was really hard to uh, step away. You know someone once told me it's it's really difficult to keep going. It would have been easier to just like stop. I kept going. We are the first Peruvian restaurant here in Atlanta, and it's important that we showcase the dishes and the drinks of Peru. Um, and it's important for us to also kind of uh, share a little bit of our culture. Arnaldo is a friend of mine. I live uh, pretty close in the neighborhood and just really love uh, some of the aspects they use in their cuisine. Um, love all the fresh seafood. I'm a huge fan of their ceviche. The way that we present a ceviche, it's to be shared. You know, we, we include a spoon with the dish because we want folks to get a perfect bite. You get a little bit of the fish, the cancha corn, the sweet potato, and of course that leche de tigre marinade, right? The tiger's milk. I had the Lomo Sotado last time and I pretty much made a believer out of me, so I'm gonna get it again for myself because I had to share. The Lomo Sotado is a dish that is influenced by the Chinese immigrants in Peru, so it's cooked on a wok. Um, but then you've got the Peruvian seasonings like aji amarillo and aji banca that are in there. Uh, and then Peruvians, we love to double starch everything, so we serve it with potatoes and rice. Our causas are, you know, whipped potatoes that are layered with avocado, and then you get to decide what kind of protein you like, uh, crab or, you know, yellowfin tuna. Our tuna tiradito is yellowfin tuna, uh, which is sustainably sourced, and we present that by uh, doing thin slices on a plate. Uh, we garnish it with uh, an ají amarillo uh, leche de tigre, so it's got a little bit of uh, brightness and acidity behind it. Um, and then we top it off with a little bit of ají verde, which is a, a creamy uh, sauce made with huacatay, uh, which is a Peruvian herb. I mean, the cocktail program is excellent too. I like their take on a margarita and the pisco sour. World famous, pisco sour, right? There's egg whites, there's simple syrup in there, there's some bitters as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love it here. It's one of my favorite places to come. Uh, it's right down the street from my house, so it's very convenient. We're in a very like neighborhood focused uh, community, and I think that's special. You know, we get to we get to meet the locals. Uh, we get to share what we're doing with the community. I like it. It's nice and open space. Uh, it feels, uh, feels pretty effortlessly cool. Uh, I like the woodwork and the ceiling. I think the bar is beautiful. Lots of nice natural light. Really welcoming. Staff is excellent. Uh, just a really nice little neighborhood restaurant bar. It's very surprising when you come here and you see some things that you can't even really like translate. So it engages you and you ask about the food, you learn origins, history, and then you get a surprising taste of flavors that you're not used to. Our wait staff is fantastic. They're well versed in the Peruvian um, ingredients that we use and they like to tour guide our guests uh, through the menu. Passionate cooking, fun spices, uh, things I've never had before. Great flavors, um, always changing menu, excellent specials, and uh, the ambiance you can't beat. It's a really cool full circle moment that we open up Tia Lucho's. It's right across from a restaurant where I learned a lot about farm to table and you know sustainable sourcing. We, we get to take you to Peru for you know an hour and a half and you get to enjoy a really cool meal with really dope ingredients and you know the service and the drinks and everything is just top-notch and that's what I want people to walk away from. You know?